thank you so welcome back guys uh, i hope i'm audible to every one of you can you all able to hear me yes anyone sir. any okay man excellent anyone any questions before i begin my session what was the topic we discussed till late okay anyone any questions on that cool uh salik salik ki Shiva, I have a question. I don't know whether it is applicable to this session or not. Like, you know, I just need a little brief discussion about, uh, you know, the differences between Java and JDK. Uh, can I take this question a little late? Yes, sure. No problem. Uh, no, let me take it right away. It doesn't okay. make any sense. Okay. So, JDK is nothing but Java Development Kit. What do I mean by Java Development Kit? java development kit is nothing but okay as part of the programming okay as part of the writing the programs using the java jtw language okay what we need to do is that java jtw is also a programming language so when i'm saying that java is a programming language we need a container we need a server to do that for that particular purpose okay we need to have a executable system called as in java this java is available okay either in a java development kit or in a runtime environment but if you are trying to download the java development kit along with the runtime environment it gives couple of more additional set of features okay that a developer would be needing it so J java is nothing but it's a container responsible to execute your code written using the java jtw programming language inside that it is having the uh, interpreter and compiler to run and compile your code just in time is is a name a technical name given to that if i remember correctly and jdk is nothing but jdk is the one that will have the java inside it and it is called a java development kit and it contains the necessary tools and the necessary uh, files that are needed for the execution for the development of your developer jdk in turn contains a java runtime environment clear yeah excellent anyone any more questions before i begin the session here for today cool silence i'll take it as no so if no questions okay let me begin the session here quickly i hope the screen is visible from the appearance point of view uh sunil is sunil the new person oh uh, vasu i see a new person by name sunil yeah he's uh, yeah i just joined today to just see how uh, session is going on for kirti I, i joined on behalf of kirti oh great no problem yeah thank you no problem yeah so in our last session what we discussed is that we discussed about what is the uh, what is a jboss application server what are the different ways of installing the jboss application server we did a quick lab on installation of the jboss application server on the windows operating system and as part of the installation i also told that different ways of installing the jboss application server depending upon the type of operating system we have got i told that we can do the installation using the gui mode we can do the installation using the console mode we can do the installation using the auto.xml file we can do the installation by using the em group install i said that we can if the installer is available in the form of a zip file generally for the open source jboss application server 
this kind of a packaging format is being given so if we have the installer as a zip file just unzipping that the installation would be done so as part of the same discussion yesterday we also talked about the prerequisites that are needed to do the installation of a jboss application server what was that the first and the most important thing is to have the java runtime environment or the jdk installed so how do i try to validate that as we discussed yesterday in case of a, a unix based operating system first say java space hyphen version to know whether the java is there or not once we are done with that then simply say which java which java will give me the path where the java is present and this particular path should show us the jdk path okay the jdk folder it's not coming here so that means to say that my java isn't been configured properly as an environmental variable so let's try to do that first before we try to kick off the installation of the jboss application server I remember copying the software here. So I don't think so. it's here. Let me try to do a copy from my local machine. I'm pausing the screen wantedly just for a few minutes. I'm just trying to do, copy the JBoss software, which is present on my local machine, as well as the JDK software, which is present on my local machine. I'm pretty much sure you all must be knowing about the software called as NWinSCP. So I'm not discussing anything about that. Okay, the simple software, you can just do a Google, quick Google and download the software and give the IP and the port, <coughs> give the IP of the <coughs> Unix machine, which you want to, <clears throat> to which you want to transfer the, the files so once you are done with that go to the path on your windows machine okay you uh wherein uh, with the source files are there just drag and drop them that would be more than sufficient cool so let me do a quick clean up of my files just give me a minute
cool so i got my softwares inside the root folder okay by default not everyone and any one of us will have an access to the root folder okay since this is just a lab since just a demo